It was hot today, 94 degrees at both airports. The record for today was 97, but you may have noticed the sky had that milky appearance to it. That was actually smoke from the western wildfires, and that was a player in keeping temperatures just three degrees shy of the record. Tomorrow is going to be very similar to temperatures like this. I'm expecting the middle 90s. We're still in the mid 80s in most places right now, and our winds all day, well, they turned off the lake breeze. We had a south and southwesterly wind all day. That's going to keep us hot through Friday, that same wind flow developing. Storms start tomorrow afternoon and they could turn severe late tomorrow night and into Friday as well. So we're watching for that. That's because a cold front's coming in and that's going to clear things out for the weekend. So lows tonight will be extremely muggy and mild, probably about 77, keeping those southwesterly winds going. So during the day tomorrow, I think those high clouds will start to build ahead of our isolated storm chance in the afternoon. Then as we get into tomorrow night, I am expecting to see that we could see some showers and storms moving in. Then on Friday, a round of rain and then scattered variety again with the heat of the afternoon heading into the evening until that front passes through. Storm Prediction Center is looking at a slight risk that some of those storms could be severe, especially on Friday. Here's a look at Hurricane Laura. Winds 150 miles per hour. You can see those tornado warnings up for parts of the Louisiana coast. The center itself so easy to pick out on radar. The center is about 75 miles due south of Lake Charles, Louisiana, and it is continuing to push onshore now. So the landfall taking place probably in the next two to three hours. The storm surge, that is going to be the hugest threat, 10 to 20 feet as far as when the system moves in right for the Lake Charles area. So when we track it out, this is the latest from the National Hurricane Center. Not expected to weaken, not expected to strengthen. Uh, upper level winds are favorable to hold it at category four strength as it makes landfall near Cameron and into Lake Charles just after midnight to 2 a.m. sometime in that time frame and then during the day moving through Shreveport and then into parts of the mid-Atlantic states. You can see how it takes that swing. That's because of the front that we have coming through that's going to take that moisture from what's left of Laura and push it for the mid-Atlantic states. But you can see that there is a lot of time to go through through on Thursday with Laura before it mingles with this front that's going to be giving it that push to the right. So for us, it's going to be hot here for the next two days. Stormy at times, more isolated tomorrow, better storm threat on Friday. But Brad and Erica, the weekend, wow, is that looking nice. Sunshine, upper 70s, very calm. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.